What is going on guys and welcome to our episode of Pokemon Locker Red Nuzzle Locker Red Nuzzle with your Lock Challenge with your boy KMac. Now in the last episode we did go ahead and beat down Blaine. We also took care of um, whatever that forest is called on the new islands. I'm not really sure. I think they're called Island 1, 2, and 3. I don't really remember what that forest is called. But let's go ahead here and um, swap out some Pokemon here just so we have somebody that can fly. Um, yes, this Pidgeotto that we're going to take out is um, officially quote-unquote dead, um, but it's the only one that can learn fly, and I need to use fly. So we'll just use it for fly, and then we'll put it back in the PC. Uh, no harm, no foul uh, on that. At least that's how I play. I mean, not, I don't feel like surfing and then taking 10 years and you know wasting all of your time you know, to watch me go through all the routes and all the random encounters as well. So we are actually going to go ahead and uh I believe we're going to get the old Amber f for Aerodactyl. Um, I don't think we are going to use Aerodactyl. I mean, it's level 5 when you get it, but it's just really cool Pokemon. And then it'll be something that's not dead that, that can learn Fly, um, just in case we need it. Um, but I don't, I mean, it could. I mean, we could potentially, if somebody was a party member in, um, in anywhere between now and the Pokemon League, we could potentially... Uh, use the, I mean, it's flying and rock type, which is kind of useful um, because it resists, resists a lot of things, but um, it's also really cool. Uh, so we're going to go down here and I want, do I, did I put anybody within daycare center? I don't, I do not remember if we did or not. I don't think we did, but um, let's go ahead and put that Radicate in the box and see what we have. Uh, Lapras, okay, let's, let's put the Lapras in the daycare. Um, just because, again, like I said, it's good to have a backup in case someone goes down. Um, and in the case like my Gyarados goes down, I'll have that. I'll have, to have it working in the in the uh, in the daycare, getting some levels for us. Um, what else? Let's see. Let's fly. Where else can we go? We gotta go back to Cinnabar. Um, take the fossil in. Get Aerodactyl. Like I said, I don't plan on using it at such a low level, but it's a really, really cool Pokemon, though. Um, we're actually one of my favorites in first generation. Uh, what else can we do right now? Uh, basically, we just got to take on Giovanni and then got to train up. We don't, we're going to be pretty low level um, to try and take on our rival because our rival has got fucking, uh, you know, the Pidgeotto and uh, the starter Pokemon, whatever one. He's got Blastoise, which is a tank. He's also going to have an Alkazam, which is an absolute monster in this generation. It's going to go Psychic. And, oh, my God, it's going to be a bitch to deal with. Um, the Psychic can one-hit KO just about anybody if you're not over-leveled and prepared. Um, so it's going to be a good idea to be prepared for that. So we're going to probably grind up a lot of levels. But I also want to start working on this Oddish here because, like I said in a previous episode, um, it's level 31. level 31, and I, it'll, it'll evolve into a Gloom one more level. And then from there, you can just use a Gleaf Stone and get a Vibloom, which is actually a pretty powerful Pokemon. And it's good to have the grass typing. And I think it's like grass and poison, I believe. And it's good to have that. We're also going to pick up a Thunderstone here um, to evolve our Eevee into um, Jolteon. Because, again, we need that typing. We don't have any electric. And we just picked up grass. So this is actually good. It's actually coming out. We have a Fire Flying, a Psychic. Uh, ghost, I believe. Actually, I think it's just Ghost. I don't think it's actually Psychic type. Um, we have a Snorlax, which is normal, which is eh, kind of okay, but it's bulky. Then we have a Electric Jolteon, a Poison Grass, and a Flying Water in our um, Badger, which is a Gyarados. So that's cool. Do we have any good uh, TMs here? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and teach it Shockwave because I, I know it learns Thunderbolt, but it's not going to learn it for like like 25 levels or so and it needs an electric attack now plus it's got 100 percent accuracy so that's really cool um i've been saving that just for this such an occasion um okay what else do we have to do before we go take on giovanni um is there anybody else thing we got to do uh, let's go to the game corner here um buy some coins uh, this is probably going to be a really part, boring part of the video, but I do like how, in the, at least in this generation, you can buy 500 at a time, or whatever, 100 at a time, 500 at a time, instead of going for, you know, two, I think like in the first generation, you had to do 50 at a time, and to get to 999, or 9,999, it literally took like three hours of just mashing and mashing and mashing the A button, 
So that was something that always drove me nuts as a child, um, trying to get a Polar Egon because it's the only way to get it, and it's 9,999. It, it was the last Pokemon I got because I always hated doing it because it just took forever. But um, what we're going to do here, we're going to try and get a lot of coins because we're going to buy, we are going to buy some uh, TMs, uh, maybe some held items as well. I know there's some good held items over there. You can get like the, the burnt charcoal, the amulet coin. Uh, I don't know what the one for water attack, but there's a bunch of stat raising and attack raising uh, held items you can buy. So which is cool. We're going to need those for the Pokemon League and um, all that kind of stuff like that to get that. Just a, a little bit of extra, but we went ahead and burned all of our money on that shit. We hopefully have we hopefully we have uh, all of our antidotes and potions and stuff because we don't have any more money. But uh, ice beam, we're definitely gonna need ice beam. Uh, really, really good move to have, especially when it's trying to take on dragon types. Um, especially trying to take on dragon knight uh, because it's flying dragon, which is quad weak to ice. So we are definitely gonna teach that to uh, Badger our Gyarados. Um, we can go ahead. You know, I kind of want to keep the. Uh, I can go ahead and get Dra Dragon Rage because Dragon Rage only does 40 damage uh, no matter what and I kind of like keeping the bite because just for the, the dark typing in case Alakazam uh, we have something we have something for him uh, just in case it comes to that it is super effective even though it's not the greatest you don't get the stab attack for it because of uh, whatever it's you know all that so let's go ahead and sell some of these TMs we're never going to use because I'm never going to teach anybody Sunny Day I'm never going to teach anybody Safeguard Frustration Toxic can go, um, you know, all these bullshit TMs that I've just kind of found and collected or been given. I'm just gonna, you know, hawk them because I'm broke as shit right now. So basically, this is like me going to Pawn Stars and pawning off all my shit here because I really don't foresee myself using any of these. Um, really, besides, I mean, I could use Solar Beam, Giga Drain, and Dig because those are actually good moves, but Double Team and Reflect gotta go. Um, definitely don't use those. Fire Blast is a great move, obviously. Don't really need. Rock Tumor, Super Power, Rast Attract. All these ones are just kind of useless to me. Um, but, man, I, you know, I, was, I was listening to this Adam Sessler's podcast. Adam Sessler's podcast. Adam Sessler. If you guys don't know who Adam Sessler is, he's, he used to be on this TV channel, G4. is all about video gaming. He used to be on Attack of the Show. Um, I believe he had his own show called X-Play on the network. It's a really good network, and I really wish those shows were still around. It's actually one of my favorite networks when I was... Uh, a little bit younger, but he has his own podcast now. He's over. He has, like, he has his own YouTube uh, network as well. I think it's called like Rev Three Gaming, and they put out really, really good gaming content. So if you guys cannot check them out, please go check them out. But I was listening to his podcast today, and they somehow got on the topic of um, discontinued foods from your childhood, and this really got me thinking. Like, no other discontinued foods that I wish were still around were still around. Like, it really got me thinking. Just, just for example, like I wrote down a few of them here on this piece of paper. You guys remember? I don't know if you guys remember these or not, but in, like. Early to like mid 2000s, um, 3D Doritos came out, and oh my god, this was my favorite. I remember, like in grade school, when I was in like maybe sixth, seventh, or even eighth grade, they had these at my grade school, and for lunch, and I would buy them. And uh, basically, what they were, they were like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. They were like three dimensional, uh, hollowed, they had like their air, weird consistent, this weird consistency, weird consistency, and then, I don't know, I just, I personally, I loved the shit out of these, uh, 3D Doritos, and, but sadly, they were, like, discontinued in, like, 2008 or something like that, apparently, they weren't too popular with anybody but me, because, you know, I ate them pretty much every day when I, back when I was that young, and back when I was still fat, uh, or whatever, but, um, some other things, uh, the, remember, uh, oh, Oreos, like, the, uh, the Oreos were, like, the, the filling was uh, chocolate, and the cookies were vanilla. I, I mean, they still have vanilla Oreos, which actually I prefer vanilla Oreos to regular Oreos. Um, I don't know why; they just taste better to me. Um, personal kind of thing. Also, I remember I remember when like Pepsi Blue came out, and um, I wasn't a big fan of Pepsi Blue. I mean, nobody really liked Pepsi Blue. That's why it uh, was obviously discontinued. But I remember trying it, and I. I didn't really, it was like a blue raspberry Pepsi, and it, I've never really tasted anything like it, um, even since. But let's go ahead and take on, this is our last gym here, this is Giovanni's gym. I believe most of his Pokemon are rock and or um, uh, ground, I believe. I mean, there's some poison types in here as well, as you see with the Arbok. But um, I believe Giovanni's Pokemon, I believe he has a Rhyhorn, maybe a Rhydon or a sand slash. I don't know. I don't really remember. 
Um, I know that he has both a a Nidoran Queen and a Nidoran um, Nido King. Excuse me. I know he has both of those, Nido Queen, Nido King. I don't remember anything. I know he has a Rhyhorn as well. It might be a Rhydon at this point in the game. But I know he also like, has like a Rock type Pokemon and Ground type Pokemon. So we should, we should be able to just smash through them with uh, Badger here and just use water moves like Surf. Um, even if it could, we could even use um, our Oddish to use some kind of Grass type moves against it just because it's super, super easy. And um, it's probably the easiest gym leader in the entire game because by this time your Pokemon are pretty high leveled. And if you have your typing right, you can just literally one shot run through him like no problem. Just one shot everybody. Uh, all of his party, so we, I'm not really too worried about this. What I am kind of worried about, however, is the battle with our rival, because like I said earlier, he's got some tough Pokemon, and he's got a little bit better diversity in typing than just ground and rock. Um, I like I say, he's got he's got flying, he's got water, uh, he's got psychic type, I believe. Um, he's got fire type. I believe he has like an RK9 maybe. Um, I know I don't really remember exactly what his party is, but I remember it just being really tough. His battle before. The uh, Elite Four is actually a really tough part in the game. If you're not prepared, you can e very easily lose there in a Nuzlocke run. And it wouldn't even be that, that embarrassing, really, because his, his party is pretty insane, especially that goddamn Alkazam. That Alkazam is ridiculous. But um, some, other, some of the other things I was thinking about, um, as far as getting back to the discontinued food, um, remember, you guys remember the, the Cola Surge? That was like that super caffeinated, super sugary soda that was like discontinued because it was like bad for kids. It was like the equivalent of drinking five Mountain Dews in one can of Surge. And I remember when I was like maybe in my early, I want to say like seven to twelve year range. Um, I remember like I just remember getting that like in the summertime we'd go to like Casey's or something and we would pick up a can of Surge. Me and my a couple of my friends. And we'd drink it. We'd be wired as shit. We'd go like riding bikes all day, like nonstop hyper and stuff like that. I just remember that. And also French Toast Crunch. Like this is like one of the most badass cereals ever to be discontinued. Um, French Toast Crunch is like basically the same thing as Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but just a little slight, slight tweak to it. And I really, and really enjoyed it. Um, another thing, another really good cereal that I thought was like, you guys remember, I don't know, really, you might not remember any of these, you might be a little bit before your day if you're a little bit younger, or you might just not remember them all because they weren't that popular to begin with, but um, there was an Oreo cereal, it was called like Oreo O's, and it was just like, it was like in the same shape as uh, Reese's Puffs, but it was Oreo flavored, and I, I loved it, I loved the shit out of that sugary cereal when I was a kid, um, so... I don't know. I don't know why they just continued that. That was really good. It, and I really enjoyed it. But something a little more recently, and I'm sure if you're a, about the same age as I am, if you will re uh, remember this, obviously, because it happened like like two years ago, the thing that got discontinued, well, not really discontinued, but changed, I guess you could say. Um, the If you guys are familiar with the Four Loco, um, Four Loco uh, alcoholic beverage, the can, the tall boy cans, and it's a dog, like, absolute dog piss. And oh my god, the four locos are a, are a one way ticket to a fucking hangover. Um, and but I remember like all like last summer, I that's what I would drink because I was so broke, I didn't have any money. And you could get pr sufficiently wasted off of like two, uh, two full four, four locos, you'll be pretty toasted. And they're only like 350 a piece, so like seven bucks, you could get wasted as shit if you could somehow manage to drink all two four locos. It's almost impressive, but I remember. 12, 2012, they were even worse, even worse for you. Uh, they had like triple the caffeine and a little more alcohol content, and those things were like straight like rocket fuel. Though you could like light that on fire, it was so potent. I don't know how people were getting like away with being able to drink more than one of those. Those those good four locals, as they're called by the you know the kids, um, really would have fucked you up. I'm so glad I never had to drink one of those. Those would have really been a hangover. And I really, I, anything that malt beverage for me, like um, Mike's Hard Lemonade or anything like that, like, like, re liquor, really gets her, really gets me, really gets me terrible hangovers. But um, that's why I usually try to stick to beer or, you know, just normal liquors like Captain or something like that. But which reminds me, um, I will no longer have to be drinking underage after, um, after, what's it? Three days from now, four days from now. Anyway, uh, I'll be turning 21 this Saturday, so that's cool. So for my birthday, me and my buddies are going downtown. We're going out Friday night, and we're going to go 
Uh, Friday night at midnight, I'll be 21, so we're going downtown, right? We're going to be at the bars at midnight, and I'm sure it's going to be a shit show. Like, um, I think was it two weeks ago was my one of my roommates and best friend's birthday, um, so we did the same thing for him, and we all went downtown, and we had a good time. So it should be good. I'm sure I'm looking forward to that. Uh, really looking forward. To, I'm not really looking forward to throwing up my own and rolling my own like puke and what have you because I know my friends are gonna make me take so many goddamn Jaeger shots. It's ridiculous. But uh, getting back to a Pokemon game here, we are almost to Giovanni. We were making short work of all of his little pawns, and I think there's well, there maybe one more. Yeah, okay. Well, there's one more trainer. Then we're going to heal up, and then we are going to take on Giovanni. But we have been getting some good levels on our Jolteon. It's almost it's already up to 32. Um, getting great XP from this gym from it. So, um, you know, just switching him in, in and out, picking up the easy XP. Uh, should have no problems in here. Should not lose anybody. Um, I don't know if we'll be ready to take on our rival directly after this battle. I mean, I'm looking at my party right now. And I'm looking uh, at the levels and attacks and stuff. I mean, we did pick up, you know, the ice beam and all that kind of stuff. And we did pick up some um, of the uh, of the held items that help. Uh, but we do have plenty of potions, all that kind of stuff. But I just, I, I look down there and I see those level 30s um, in, you know, in a certain typing. Like, I don't really know what we were going to do to take care of the to take care of his Blastoise because it's so tanky and I, the only thing that we have that's good against it right now is our Jolteon which is going to be 20 levels weaker and um, one Hydro Pump or something like that could potentially put him down and we'd be shit out of luck um, or we could go in with Oddish which is, would be at that time hopefully evolved into a Vileplume but it's still like I said 20 something levels lower and it's very susceptible to a one hit KO I mean we could go in there with the with our fucking uh, with a uh, badger, but you know, it's water flying. I mean, that's our best bet is to go in there and just try and bite it to death or something. But let's go ahead and take on Giovanni. Um, uh, looks like I said, he has a rye horn. None of this should be a, a problem at all. All these Pokemon should just be one hit KOs. If we could probably just get one surf and or a hydro pump, whatever, it, it doesn't really matter. This, there's nothing that they can really do to him. All these Pokemon are really known for is knowing earthquake, but um, it won't even affect badger. The Gar our Gyarados here because of the flying type um, that goes along with it. So it really doesn't even matter. We could Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, Surf, you know, any 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 of these moves at all. Oh, he's got Doug Trio. Actually, that's a good, actually a really good Pokemon. I wish I had a Doug Trio. Um, I, I believe we had a Diglett Dionys. Yeah, a Diglett did Dionys way way back in the day. Uh, probably one of the first Pokemon to go down for us. Actually, um, man, that just reminded me of all the Pokemon that died. All the ones that. May they rest in peace. We have a moment of silence. One moment of silence for everyone that we lost so far. So honor them by giving them one moment of silence. All right, that's good enough. I mean, uh, well, we're, yeah, we're just trouncing through here. Uh, well, I believe, yeah, let's see, got a Nidal King. I think that's all he's got left. We're going to try and get Saul. Just keep on grinding him up. Just try and get all of this good, great XP we're getting from him here. Hit him with one more Psychic. And, oh, we only had one left, but it should be a one-hit KO. And bam, we beat Giovanni. No problem. Didn't lose anybody. Um, I, I, I really don't know if we should try and take on our rival right now, because I really don't want to end this, end this run. You know, before we even make it to the Pokemon League. But Earthquake is a great move. I really, really love this move, and uh, it's gonna be a good move for our. Uh, for Jesse to pick up here, we can go ahead and drop Mega Punch, or we can actually go ahead and drop Dig because it's better than Dig. Even though Dig, you can avoid things. And we're gonna go ahead and teach it Fire Blast as well, just because we need some, you know, uh, we can get rid of Mega Punch because it's just a useless move at this point. Um, so we got some good move sets on on Charizard now. I mean, it was Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Earthquake, and what Wing Attack. So it's got good coverage. Um, Drowned Flying and Fire Type attacks with the Fire Attacks and uh, Flying Attacks being Stab Attacks. So that's good. That's good to have in our back pocket as well. Let's go ahead and take a look in our PC real quick just to see what we got. I don't, think, I don't really want to mess with anything right now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn between going and taking on our rival and hope we can, hoping we have something to plow through. Um, I believe this guy gives you Dream Eater. I believe he gives you that. I could be wrong. Okay, yes, he does. And Dream Eater is actually really good. He actually teaches one Pokemon, but our um, 
Haunter already knows Dream Eater, but we are actually going to use a Super Rod right here because I know you can catch, you know, Polywags actually. And, you know, it's a new route. I mean, it's, you can't, I never caught anything in this town before, so why not go ahead and try and catch one just in case, you know, something happens and we lose somebody and I might have to start all the way back from scratch with, with PC Pokemon and it might drag on forever. Hope that never, we ever get to use our buddy Nick here. That would be a complete failure catastrophe it comes down to it just because he's so low level at this far in the game. But, um, you know, you never know, and it's always better to be prepared. I uh, And I, I don't really know if I want to do this or not. I'm not sure. You know what? You know what? I'm thinking, no, I, I don't think we're ready for it. I don't think our party could handle it right now. We're going to have to go grind up some more. Uh, we're going to make some quick changes here. Uh, we're going to switch up our party just a little bit. Uh, we're going to take out, uh, who are we going to take out? Who are we going to put away, actually? Who are we going to deposit? That's the real question. Let's go ahead and deposit. Um... Just deposit our Jolteon real quick, just because we need to get, uh, we just need to fly somewhere. We don't really, yeah, switch our party that too much just yet. I do have a couple ideas in mind, but um, we'll get to that in just a minute. We're gonna need to fly somewhere. We're gonna fly Celadon. Uh, we are going to, uh, with the money we just gained, probably buy some more coins and see what else we can get. I mean, see, let's see what other uh, TMs we can pick up here, because I know they sell great TMs. I mean, we already have Ice Beam. Uh, what else can we get? Oh, man, this this text is super annoying to hit over and over because of the of the way the emulator is sped up. Uh, what's what's this? Thunderbolt? We all oh, we could really use that. We could really use Thunderbolt. Oh, if we could get enough coins for that, that would be fucking titties. Um, I don't know if we'll have enough money for it though. We only have thirty one thousand. Uh, okay, I don't really know. We only have enough for like. 1500 something coins maybe oh doesn't look like we're gonna have enough and I really don't want to play the stupid slots forever and win all these goddamn coins because I know that would make for a really boring video for you guys so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do there just yet let's go in here um, swap out a Pokemon again just so we um, are clear I don't really know who we're gonna try and take out here uh, I do want to get our Jolteon back out actually that's what I wanted to do Saul, gotta call Saul. Um, who else is in here though? Let's just take a look right here. Uh, we have our Raticate, uh, Horsey, Psyduck, Duduo, and all right. Let's let's um, let's actually put him up front, and then what? Do I, hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to think of what we could possibly do. Um, to be to take on our rival because I know right now as it stands we probably have a good chance of losing to either his Blastoise or to his uh, Alkazam. So I really I really want to level up um, this uh, Oddish actually and get that going. Um, just because you know. Uh, Vileplume is so much better than Oddish, and we only need we only need to gain one level. Um, but you know, taking out one level five Mankey at a time is not helping me here. I'm just kind of thinking right now of what I could possibly do, where I could possibly go. I think I already got all of the rare candies I could get, even the hidden ones. Um, we could try going down below Pallet Town and seeing if I missed any of those trainers in the water in the surfing routes. Um, there might be a few of them. Um, left, and I do believe they have level 30-ish Pokemon. They all should be water types, so it should it should actually be an okay um, an okay thing here for Oddish to gain some levels as far as this goes. We should be able to get you know some good levels out of this. Actually, we only need to get you know enough XP for one level, so it shouldn't be too too bad. So um, if there's enough of these trainers around, we should be able to just plow through this, get one level, get our Via Plume. Uh, then see where that goes. Oh, that's the Magic Carp guy. It's got six fucking Magic Carp. That guy's a chode. Um, did we battle this guy? I don't remember. Apparently we did. Hopefully there's some of these dudes left. I mean, I, I'm, I usually try and take on all the trainers I can as I'm making my way through, just because um, I like to get the XP, especially in a Nuzlocke run. It's essential to level up your Pokemon into high levels and shit. All right, let's take on this guy. Let's see what he's got. He's got a Starmie. Now uh, this should be enough. This should be enough XP to level up Beth the Oddish here. Um, oh shit! 
it's gonna be a bitch about it though. I mean, we should just bring someone in and uh, we'll like one shot it. Cause I'm sick of it using recover and it's gonna be confused and it's gonna be at least three moves to take it down. Unless we hit it with a with a solar beam here, which could be cool. Let's see what a solar beam does. That actually does a lot more power. But there's no PP flip off of that. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so, this is taking it's just. Just being a really, really big boner with this fucking star me. I'm just about to bring in someone and, uh, and, alright, that's it. That's it. Okay, hurt self confusing. Let's just bring in, bring in Skylar and just lay down the world of hurt and one shot with a, with a psychic or a shadow ball or something. Ooh, actually, I forgot that shadow ball is, uh, super effective. That's right. Because it's actually psychic type and that's, uh, okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, Moonlight, I don't really. I don't really need to learn move and light, but I guess we can get rid of acid just because it's a shitty move, and I don't know how, I guess it's a little bit better. But, yes, it's going to evolve into a gloom, and just from that, we're going to take our leaf stone, evolve that gloom into a vioplume, and bam, just like that, we have a much, much stronger Pokemon just from getting one level, uh, which is cool. Um, I believe, uh, maybe I should have saved that. Toxic HRTM because that'd have been really good to have Toxic on it. Uh, let's go get a quick heal in though right now because I know it's out of XP. Actually, let's grab our Aerodactyl so we don't have, we don't have to keep using that Pidgeotto. For God's sakes, that thing is uh, riding a dead bird around. And I I know that this whole game has been based off of uh, Breaking Bad names. And someone reminded me in the last video that I never named anybody Heisenberg, and that is like the fucking coolest badass name in the entire show. And I never named anybody Heisenberg. And you know what? I kind of just forgot. Like, there's a couple episodes where I stopped naming um, characters named Heisenberg. I was saving Heisenberg for a really big badass Pokemon that I knew I was, wasn't going to die. Like Badger or something. But I just never got around to it. So this is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. And um, it's actually a really badass Pokemon. So why not name our Aerodactyl Heisenberg? Even though I don't, I don't see ever using Heisenberg. And if I could just... If I could just fucking spell this right, that would be a miracle. Um, I believe that's how you spell Heisenberg. Could be wrong, but it looks right to me. But I am a terrible speller, so no promises. But, um, alright, so what have we done? We've uh, got a Viaplume now, we've got a couple more levels on other people. Let's take out that Aerodactyl, Heisenberg, and teach it to fly. And on top of that, fly back to. Viridian, and then uh, maybe we're high enough level. I mean, I think we're going to have to go with it as far as what we got. I mean, there's not that much more grinding we can do. There's not really any good places to grind uh, right now with high level, high enough level Pokemon that would make sense to um, level up fast enough or, you know, be time effective. So um, we're going to learn to learn fly. We're going to fly back to Viridian, switch out Pokemon, get a quick heal in. And then we're going to go for it. I think we're just going to go for it. Um, like I said, there's not really anything else we can do at this point in the game. I mean, either we're good enough or we're not good enough, or we're going to find out right now. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about the Alakazam, like I said, and I'm really nervous about not having anything for his, uh, his Blastoise. Um, I think we're either going to have to go with Haunter, or Gyarados on against his Blastoise because Jolteon is just not high enough level yet, um, and neither is Beth. Oh, we didn't even get a we didn't even get a uh, heal in. We should definitely get a heal in. What am I doing here? I almost almost screwed the pooch on that one. That would have been fucking stupid. I actually believe his first Pokemon he uses is his Pidgeotto or Pidgeot actually not Pidgeotto. It's Pidgeot. So um, do we want to flip our order around here? Uh, no, I think we should be all right, and it should be a, a good idea to get XP for our Viper Plume because we can handle Pidgeot pretty easily. Um, you know, just get hit with an Ice Beam here from a, <clears throat> a good attacking Pokemon should be a one-shot KO, maybe two, should be no problem. And we could get good XP for Viper Plume there. Um, we'll stay in. No, we're gonna switch out out because uh, Rhyhorn's the same way. We should not. I mean, Rock is f super effective against the Flying, but. Uh, one Surf should be one hit KO because he's ground and rock. Quad uh, quad on that. His Growlithe should be no problem again. Um, one shot with Gyarados with a Surf or Hydro Pump or whatever. Uh, Ice Beam probably would have done the trick as well. 
and this is where it starts to get tricky. Um, actually, you know what? No, Executor is pretty easily taken as well. It's not even that. It's Execute still. Uh, one Flamethrower or Fire Blast or even Wing Attack probably could have KO'd this motherfucker. But this is where things shit starts to get real. Um, this is where this is where I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Um, Skylar is almost level 50, so um, so we got. I mean, Skylar's like probably the highest level Pokemon in the entire battle. But we're gonna go into Beth against Blastoise. See if it can take a hit. It flinched. Okay, so I don't want to dick with it. Um, I was gonna try and get one Giga Drain in to see what would happen. Um, I don't really want to dick with it. Let's go ahead and go straight into Badger. <clears throat> Excuse me, and see what see what these moves can do. I mean. Bite really didn't do anything. I know it's got great physical defense. I bet our, our best bet, honestly, is to use Hydro Pump. Even though it itself is a, is a water type Pokemon, it, the rain dance is going on, so the attack power of it is heightened along with our um, held item, which uh, also raises it. So it's probably raised. Our best bet's Hydro Pump at this point. Um, I mean, it's not going to be super effective or anything like that, but it, it is a little, it's a lot better than Bite or anything else. And he's not really doing that too much damage to us with Bite. And we do have potions. Um, the rain stops, so that sucks. Um, we only have one hydro pump left. Uh, let's actually get go ahead and get another hype potion in here. Quick heal. Uh, we should have this unless he himself uses a potion and he flinched. Um, okay. All right. So that was a little more frustrating than I thought. We actually had to use two potions, and uh, we're getting some good levels out of it. Now this is where shit gets fucking real. Um, this is going to be a real, real fucking testament to see how level we are he's 47 uh alkazam if he would have used an, uh, if he was using psychic the whole time i think he he would have hosed us if he wasn't using yeah see that one psychic almost ko'd us if he would have got a crit hit on that he could have easily one shot at us or even if he was used psychic more than one time i mean he didn't he made it easy using calm mine and shit and uh kind of let us off the hook on that one but that is it for this episode guys i hope you guys enjoyed you guys go ahead and leave a like be very much appreciated and also let me know in the comments what can discontinued boo that you guys would like to see back um from any time so tell me guys what you guys miss and stuff like that also come on check over some of my previous videos with call of duty ghost gameplay also an epic showdown between mega man and a master chief who would win in a fight to the death uh, good video over on my channel come check that out make sure you guys are subscribing to get all these videos in your sub box weekly and daily as always, guys, have a good day and game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out.